Hey everyone, this is Elaine and welcome back to my channel. Lately, I have noticed on some of my groups, people are taking pictures and videos of their messy tables, their messy craft areas. Well, <laughs> I haven't done what's on my crafty tables in a while. So I thought I would pop in here this morning and do one. Well, if you know, I do have a, an entire craft studio that I built a couple of years ago, and I have six tables. Well, two weeks ago, or a week and a half, I got back from an um, art retreat. We mostly focus on junk journals. So, I have been playing in my studio, trying to get some things together. Um, two days from now... I leave to go on another retreat that someone else is hosting. So anyway, I kind of want to show you around. This is some of the things where I unpack some boxes and bags, and of course, there they still sit. sit. Um, I use my suitcases to tote projects in, so they will have some of this mess in them shortly. I'm going to try to do it today. Here is another little box where I brought back some goodies from the retreat and yet to find a home for. And so here we go. My first table has some paper and some packs of buttons that I picked up. And um, these two bags here, I don't know if I like them yet or not. I keep trying to find things to put scraps in. That was scrap paper, which I ended up using. And then this are some smaller scraps of fabric. So that's still kind of a work in progress. Here is a journal that I need to add a couple more things to the cover. Not sure what I want to do yet. And then these are some of my projects in their folders um, that I want to take with me. So I am pretty close there. Um, I'm going to put the vinyl tablecloth across these two tables. I need to start coffee dyeing some paper. I got a pretty good order for some of my laced um, coffee stained paper so I need to kind of get cracking on that and this is how I have started carrying my um, small stencil I mean excuse me my small um, ink pads I like the way that is um, I can flip it over and show you I can flip it over and see all the colors. I used to have it in one that was a little thicker. And then these are some smaller journals that I started at the last retreat. Not much, much, I can't talk this morning. Not much as far as embellishing on the inside, so I do still need to do that. And then um, I had ordered, or on eBay, I had bid on a little, a small case. And that's what that one is. And it happened to be near where one of the ladies lived. So it saved me $25 shipping. And she had picked it up for me. But I had to wait almost a year to get it. But that's okay. And then this is the goodies that we all gave each other. Excuse me, my Wonder Woman bag still on the floor. <clears throat> um, so... I do need to put all of my goodies in a, a pile and start going through them and sorting them. And of course, this is one of the workstations where I like to work, and it's still kind of a mess. And here, I have gone to two um, tote bags now. One has, like, my tools and things in it, and this one is mostly all adhesives, because I never know what kind of glue I'm going to want to do use. And then this is kind of a... A junk pile too where I sit and work sometimes and then I did pick up a vintage journal um, at the retreat so that is for the most part what's on my crafty tables um, you know I still do have this is my scrap paper bin I know it's a little ridiculous um, but it is what it is anyhow so that's my little quick video for today and uh, when you think you have a, a mess on your desk, you probably know where everything is. And if you did put your mind to sitting down to sort it, it probably, maybe, hopefully wouldn't take you very long. That's how I feel about mine anyway. So 
please. I hope you have a great day, and I will catch you down the road. Be safe. Bye.